What's going on, YouTube? Trainer Connor here, and it's time for another Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire live commentary video on Showdown once again. Thank you guys for coming to this battle video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe down below, or you can wait until the outro. Whatever works for you. I'm still trying to get uploads, or rather, battle videos for me to upload to the channel on uh, my regular game on my 3DS. I have one saved up, but I want to get some more. And uh, since it's the weekend, and since, you know, I usually upload during the weekend, I guess well will just upload something from here for now. And then we'll get back to the process, you know? It's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to take time. Just, 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 if you're enjoying this so far, like this, you know, showdown live commentary, let me know on that. I can probably uh, fit in some more of these in the near future and make it like a series or something. I don't know. I might do this for Sun and Moon. Who knows? But anyways, so today's video, we're going to do OU once again. You can see the Pokemon on this uh, template here, but I want to go over to the Team Builder, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, if you have not seen the last video, I was using... Oops, I lose my pen there. I need my pen to look, look at certain things. Anyway, so I have it, so we're good. Anyway, so, uh, so I'm using a different team this time. It's the main thing there. Uh, you see my first Pokemon pick for this battle is going to be Hydreigon, and this... Uh, the last video, I was using all offense and no defense. So, what I'm going to do here is, we're going to take a lot of these Pokemon and make them defensive, by all means. So, we have a defensive High Dragon. I'm not going to give them nicknames for this fight, because I don't really have the time to come up with an awesome nickname. Unless I randomly get one, and, like, yeah. But anyway, so High Dragon, Leftovers, Levocate. Draco Wigier, Fire Blast, Toxic, and Roost. It's a little bit different, or, I mean, it's a little unique in a sense, because you don't see Toxic, you don't see Roost on Hydreigon. Uh, before, you don't see that very often. Uh, but it's a very similar set to what Shady Penguin uses uh, when he does his live videos, his live battle videos. I see those a lot, and he does use the Hydreigon. That's very similar to this set right here. Uh, and then the EVs, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, is Max HP, Max Special Defense, 4, and Special Attack. So, Draco Meteor is our main attacking move. It's Stab, which means it's a, it's a dragon-type move, and it's going to get boosted power. Then we have Fire Blast to hit the Steel-types, Toxic to punish those walls that come in, and uh, take a hit from Hydreigon if they assume that the Hydreigon is offense. If and then Roost if we have any damage taken. Of course, a uh, Fairy type Pokemon kind of wall this set, so we need to be cautious about that. Next up, we have uh, Heatran, and you know Heatran is a Steel type, so it can hit those Fairy types pretty hard. I have Flash Cannon as the main move there. Uh, again, it's going to be carrying leftovers. It's going to be defensive. The moves on it, Stealth Rock to get those up. You can, uh, you know, hit those flying types. Get 25% of their health coming in and vice versa. will wisp to burn those uh, physical attackers that are on the field. And then we have uh, like I mentioned before, Flash Cannon to hit those uh, fairy types, and then Earth Power for coverage. The EVs are a little bit different than the typical uh, set, so, you know, 252, 252, 4. That's not the deal for high, or, uh, for Heatran, excuse me. Heatran is going to be 224 in HP, 152 in defense, 36 EVs in special attack, 96 in speed. And the reason I gave it 96 speed EVs is because you can outspeed uh, 
other Heatran, and then you can hit them with an Earth Power. I don't want to be in that scenario, but, like, if we have to, then we have the upper edge. And, of course, the 36 Special Attack Investment will make it so that Flash Cannon and Earth Power do damage to the opposition, even though we're defensive. Next up, we have Gengar, and Gengar is going to be uh, carrying choice specs, has the ability to levitate. Uh, this is our main attacker, one of our main win conditions for this battle that we're going to have here. Uh, Shadow Ball, Hidden Power Ice, Sludge Bomb, Thunderbolt are the moves, so you're limited to using only one move until you switch out. Uh, so if we're faster than the opposing Pokemon that we're going to be, you know, facing in battle, you get to choose what move you get to go for, what seems appropriate. Uh, so we need to be uh, very aware of what's on the field, what the opponent has remaining, that kind of stuff, you know, it's very important. The EVs are 250, 252 in special attack, 252 in speed, 4 in special defense, Normally, I would put 4 in HP, but you know who cares. Those 4 EVs just don't really mean anything. It's just to cover up the gap of 510 EVs. So, you know, that's that's cool there. Then we have, you can see the next Pokemon there. It's going to be Superior. It's going to be Choice Scarf. So, this is our uh, speedy Pokemon for this battle. Carrying the Choice Scarf means that you can outspeed a lot of Pokemon. Of course, priority is a issue here, because, uh, like, for example, if we face, um, like, a Pokemon that has, uh, priority. <laughs> That's weird, I know. Uh, but priority shuts the thing down. That's what I'm saying. So if we have to face, like, a Meowstic with Thunder Wave, we don't have any other option, but you can you can switch out. Yes, you can, but if you can't switch out, then we're in trouble. We'll get Thunder Wave and we'll get paralyzed. Our speed is cut. There's a lot of stuff going on when it comes to priority. We have to be very aware of that. Contrary is the ability for Superior. Contrary uh, is like... So, for example, Leaf Storm lowers the user's special attack by 2. But contrary does the exact opposite, so we will be getting a plus two boost from Leaf Storm as instead of the minus two from the actual effect of Leaf Storm. So that's the uh, reason I'm using Superior because Short Scarf Superior with Leaf Storm plus two plus four plus six. If you use it over and over, you're gonna win some games. So. Then Dragon, Dragon Pulse, excuse me, Dragon Pulse is there for some coverage. Then we have Hidden Power Fire. Hidden Power Fire is there to, you know, catch those steel types. Because Leaf Storm and Dragon Pulse, those moves just don't work against those things. So if we're in a scenario where a steel type comes in on Superior, we can lock ourselves into Hidden Power Fire. Then, Giga Drain is the last move for uh, Superior there. Because if we don't want to lock ourselves in the Leaf Storm, if we are low on health or something like that, we can use Giga Drain and we can restore our uh, health a little bit. The EVs, once again, are uh, max special attack, max speed, and uh, foreign special defense. So you've noticed so far we have one, two, three, four special attackers. Where are the physical attackers? Uh, we have two. So we have the first one being Azumarill. Azumarill is our fairy type. I guess water type because it is part uh, water. It's carrying the life orb. A uh, huge power to double the attack for Azumarill. It's a really nice ability. Uh, another alternative would be Sap Sipper, but that's not going to be our ability for this battle. Uh, Aqua Jet for some priority and stab, same type attack bonus. Facade. Now the reason I put Facade on this uh, Azumarill is because since we don't have a Lumberry, usually you put Lumberry as a held item for Azumarill for situations where we get burned 
where we can get paralyzed. But mainly it's getting burned. If we get burned, we're in deep trouble. But we have facade. And for those who don't know, facade doubles in power if the user is burned, poisoned, or paralyzed. So that's why I put this move in the move slot there. Uh, play rough and then waterfall. EVs, max HP, max attack, and for a special defense. And last but not least, you guys, we're almost done with the team analysis and we can get to the battle, but Red Perrier is our secondary uh, physical attacker, and he's going to be holding the Lumberry. Solid Rock, Swords Dance, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Crunch. You notice that I use Crunch in this battle. If we have to face a Psychic type or a Ghost type, and uh, I say Ghost type specifically because if we are Speed Tide, with my own Gengar being a Ghost type, I don't want to be in that situation. So if we're going to be in that scenario, we have Crunch to hit opposing Gengar or Azelf or any, any other of those Pokemon. Because OU allows you to use any OU Pokemon, UU, and RU, and any of So there's a lot of stuff that we could crunch. So that's why I'm going to be using that move. The EV investment for this Rhyperior is going to be really weird. 108 in HP, 128 in attack, 60 in defense, 212 in special defense. Yes, that is really weird, because since Rapierier has really good physical defense, I decided to invest in special defense because that's his weak spot. And so having that makes, makes Rapierier really bulky. It can hit, or it can survive a lot of moves from both sides of the spectrum. Okay, so that's everybody. Now we can get to the battle. Of course, this is going to be a live Wi-Fi battle, so... I'm going to go ahead and challenge someone. I hope no one disconnects, because if anyone disconnects... And that's why I hate Showdown so much. Uh, because not only is it hatsy or, you know, situations where, you know, things go crazy, and you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Why am I getting paralyzed five times in a row? This does not work in the actual games. But, you know, something else, people disconnect, and they can do it whenever they feel like it, so... I will give it the old college try here. My opponent here is uh, packing Gallade, Garchomp, Breloom, Chandelure, Weavile, and Skarmory. So I know this right away. He has a potential uh, two Megas, of course, Mega Garchomp and Mega Gallade. Uh, he has access to Stealth Rocks. We can lay them down on our side of the field with Skarmory. He can uh, fake out an Ice Shard with Weavile and uh, Chandelure to be Scarfed or Specs. It's pretty fast in general, so... Uh, and then, you know, Breloom. You never know. And look at that! He forfeited! Okay, so this is exactly why I hate Showdown. But, you know, that would have been a great team to battle. I would definitely give it a nice uh, shot there, but people disconnect. I'm sorry, guys, but we're 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 gonna just give it another shot here. So, this person, and hopefully you don't disconnect. Driftworm, Gliscor, Chatot, Golbat, Drapion, Kingdra. So this is an, an OU team for sure. It's more lower class. Uh, so, for the league off here, I was gonna do that in the last uh, battle, but. My opponent forfeited. Um, I'm seeing... I see Drapion leading. So... I'm gonna start with Heatran, because I can. Uh, set up my Stealth Rocks. He, he opens up with Drift Bloom, which is fine by me. I don't know what he's going to do. I can burn it. I don't know if Drift Bloom is a physical attacker or what. I don't, I don't actually know, because I haven't... Uh, trained up a Drift Blum before, but right now we're going to go for Stealth Rock. Go to Stockpile. Okay, so this set is going to be annoying as we don't have... Well, we do have the authority to, you know, toxic this Drift Blum with High Dragon. I think I can do that right now because Stealth Rocks are up. 
um, we can burn it as well, but what if, what if Driftworm has Roost or something like that? Or what's that move that restores the HP when you're using it? I think it's Swallow. So if it has Swallow, that would be terrible. So that's why we want to poison it. So we're going to do that. We're going to hide Dragon. Stockpile again, that's fine. And then we can go for some toxic shenanigans there. And this is what I'm talking about. Um, of course, you know, this high dragon, most, most high dragon are really offensive, but no, it's a defensive build. So, we're going to see what he's going to do. If he stays in, he's going to get poisoned. Although he can go into glide score and have the poison heal. But no, it's fine. He has focus energy as well. Oh dear. So this is a little bit concerning. Um, I don't really face a lot of drift bomb. And uh, when, you, when you don't face that many drift bomb and they set up on you, you're in for a deep run here. So I don't know what he's going to do now. Uh, same goes for me. Which is kind of interesting. I think I'm going to um, stay in and go for Fire Blast. I, I don't know, guys. I just want to see what he's going to do. Alright, he's going to go for another stockpile. I'm really happy I poisoned this thing. I'm really happy I poisoned this thing. Um, I'm going to go back into Heatran. Because I don't think he can hit me with Heatran. Because Heatran is really... Oh, he has Substitute. So... Substitute, focus, energy, stockpile, what? I, the last move is a mystery. So, I think we're good. We're going to stay in here. We're going to just go for flash cannon and break that sub. And we don't go. He has baton pass. Shoot! Man, this is bad. This is really bad. Because, for those of you who don't know, baton pass... Yeah, you see it right there. You see it right there. It passes all the modifiers to the next Pokemon. So we're kind of screwed at this point. Um, because we have to break the substitute. And he's setting up a sword stance. Oh my gosh. Poison heal. Man, this is really bad. Um, 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 what should we do about it? Well, I. I guess the only way in taking out a glide score with this much statistics, you guys, this is tough. I don't know. I really don't know. He's setting up another source stance. This is bad. This is bad. I think we're going to lose this one. I know what you guys are thinking. I can just switch out and go into Gengar and hit click Hidden Power Ice. I'm going to do that when I sacrifice someone because I need to sacrifice someone. And that's going to be Heatran. Which, looking at my opponent's team, Earth Power hits Drapion, super effective. So, alright, we need to go into Gengar and uh, click Hidden Power Ice. I'm forced to do that. Okay, it's a two-hit KO, but he has acrobatics, and he gets a crit. So that is a game bar down. That sucks. Man. So, uh, now, we're going to go into our Choice Scarf Superior. We outspeed it, obviously, and we hope that a Leaf Storm can take it out. Let's do it. No. But, of course... Yeah, I think we lost this battle, guys. This is so bad. Um, I don't know why I let myself in this position. And I'll tell you this, in the last video, I was in a really tough position. Just like this one, but this is a lot worse. A lot worse. So, I'm kind of screwed at this point. Um, yeah. We're gonna have to just click moves that are really strong. And he has roost. We got crit. That helps a lot. Yes, we got a crit. That, this is what happens in Shogun. You get a crit, and this person is laughing. Yes, of course. <laughs> in the chat, he's saying, you know, he's laughing out loud. It's funny, because I get a crit, and um, 
that kind of changes the game a lot. Unfortunately, we lost a good portion of our guys. We lost Superior, Heatran, and Gengar. So we have Hydreigon, Azumarill, and Rhyperior. So that's really tough. But he has Chagot. Most of these things, most of these things carry uh, Boom Burst and uh, Swagger. But Swagger is banned. I don't know. We're going to see what's going to happen. He has Substitute. Because why not? I know he's going to set up another substitute. So in that case, we are going to... If I can find my mouse, I can't really see where that mouse is. Alright, uh, he's going to set up a substitute again. We're going to Rhyperior. Right. Oh yeah, Shatter. Okay. So Shatter is another move that will confuse you, but I have a Lumberry. If you saw that, Lumberry is now gone. Um... I don't want him to confuse me again with Chatter, so I'm gonna stay and go for Rock Slide. He outspeeds me. Wow. And we don't hit ourselves in confusion, luckily for us, and we take out Shadot. Sweet. So now I imagine he's gonna go into Gold Bat. I'm actually surprised he did that, because Kingdra. Kingdra is a water type. It's too bad I don't have Rock Polish, because then I can outspeed everything. He has Toxic. Hmm. That's fine. Wow, he, I took him out too. Does he have an Eevee Light? Because the Eevee Light boosts up your defense if, the, uh, if you're at the secondary stage. Because Golbat is the secondary stage uh, for Crobat's evolutionary line. Uh, but he's most likely... Uh, black Sludge, which is fine. You can use that. But most of the time, it's going to be Eevee like. Okay. So, with Golbat out of the way, with the Glasgow out of the way as well, and then Chagot, he now has to choose either uh, Gripplum, Gapion, or Kingdra. Again, he's not going to Kingdra, which would be an awesome play for him, but. He's just going for the earthquake, and uh, it's not going to take him. It's, gonna take, it's not going to take out my Rhyperior. So I'll be telling you right now to my opponent, you have to go into Kingdra. You have to, because it's a water type. Water type moves work the best. So, yes, my, my opponent here is making some really odd plays right now. I'm not going to... Say anything else? I'm just gonna go for a store sand, cause why not, right? He's just sacking off the Driftman. Why? Why? I don't understand. I will go down the next turn though, because we're poisoned. So, this is his last Pokemon. He has to do something here. He has to do something here in order to come back from what he has done. He had the momentum until I got the crit. The crit sealed the deal for my opponent. <laughs> Uh, so, we're gonna stay in and go for a punch. He goes for Skull. If he'd done that initially, he would've grabbed this battle, but... Guys, I believe we're gonna win this battle, because... All because of the crit, all because he made that weird decision, those weird decisions. Uh, so... I imagine he's gonna go for another Skull, and that means he, we could get burned. I do wanna try for Sog. Let's try it, let's try it. No, we don't get burned. It would've been awesome, though. It would've been awesome, though, because then we would've gotten burned. Do it again. I want you to do it again. Do it again. No, we don't get burned. I want to try it. I just want to try it so badly. But we're not getting the skull burns. Or he's not getting the skull burns. Can we get it now? No. That's three times in a row. Which is funny, because... You know, in the games, it's a 70% chance when you get burned from the Skull. And we see there, no burn from three Skulls. So we won this battle. Thank you for my to my opponent for an awesome match and not forfeiting. And uh, yeah, we won this battle, guys. All because of that crit. That crit mattered. 
I feel so sorry for my opponent. But anyway, so that's the match. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this was a long video, but you know what? You had those disconnects. You have to find another match, and we just go from there. And I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is going to be a new thing for when sun and moon come out in November. But yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this video and subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Harris.